So, I was playing Minecraft the other day when I noticed something interesting. It came to my attention that all of my character's actions came as a direct consequence of me sending an input to the game. So, this got me wondering if this crucial mechanic is actually necessary to beat the game. This is the challenge we will be tackling in this video. Is it possible to beat Minecraft without any input? My name is SpeedyCube64, and today, I'm gonna try to beat Minecraft with no keyboard, no mouse, no controller, um, no steering wheel, no shenanigans, just good old Minecraft, with no input. Now, this challenge was hard to do, so if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, it takes two seconds, and you can always unsubscribe if you want. Anyway, the first thing we're going to do is look on YouTube to see if there are any videos of other people doing the challenge that I can leech off of. So, I couldn't find any videos, so now I'm going to have to figure this out myself. So, we're going to have to decide what platform of Minecraft we want to play on. As you know, Minecraft is available on all sorts of platforms and has gone through all kinds of updates in the past. There are many advantages and disadvantages to each version, but the one I will be choosing is Java Edition, because the sleazy dirtbags at Microsoft expired my free Windows 10 engine offers. Like, bro, now I have to pay a whole two quid just to play on Bedrock Realms on a game I already have? That's cringe 100, Microsoft! Anyway, the version I will be playing this challenge on is 1.16.1 because the chance of piglins giving you ender pearls is higher than on 1.16.2. The first thing we need to do to beat Minecraft is to go to the nether, but this is our first problem. Without inputting anything, we can't get the obsidian to make a nether portal. Luckily, there's a way around this though because in 1.16 there are pre-made structures called ruined portals which already have the obsidian port in place. The problem with that though is that in order to move to the nether portal you have to input a movement key. But we can actually get around this by using a seed that puts the portal right next to you. This almost gets you into the nether, but then we meet another roadblock which is that you can't write the portal without right clicking on it with a flint and steel. I was just about to give up, but then my friend told me that I don't actually need the portal to build. Rather, I just need the portal block from inside the obsidian to take me to the nether. I could actually go around building the portal by making a super flat world with the nether portal block spawned in. Using this method, we can finally make it past the overworld and into the nether. So everything was going smoothly for a while. I actually was able to get an apple and two sticks from the bonus chest. But then we run into another problem, which is that the nether is too foggy to actually find another fortress. This means that we can't get blaze rods for the eyes of Ender, meaning that we can't fill out the end portal once we got back to the overworld. This was a huge problem and, not being able to get the blaze rods, I was basically convinced that it wasn't possible to beat Minecraft without doing any input. I mean, how was I supposed to fill out the end portal if I didn't get any ender eyes? The challenge seemed hopeless. But then, just when I was about to call it quits, my friend reached out to me once more and made me realize that instead of filling out the end portal, I can actually just bring the end portal lock to me. So, by making a super flat world with the end portal block spawned in, we can actually make it past the stronghold and into the end. It seemed like smooth sailing from here. I mean, we're already in the end, so finishing the game should be easy, right? Well, that's what I thought, but I was met with a shocking surprise. It turned out that I couldn't actually kill the dragon if I couldn't do any input. I was flabbergasted. All this time spent doing the challenge and it was going to end here? I couldn't believe it. I tried to figure out a way to kill the dragon with no input. I tried everything. I tried pearly loads, arrow despawns, triple neos, and even MLG horses, but nothing I did seemed to work. The dragon lived on and I couldn't do input. I hate to say it, but this is the end of my hardcore survival to beat the Ender Dragon without any input. Or is it? You see, as I was editing this video, my friend actually made a major breakthrough. He actually made me realize that what I don't really need is to kill the dragon. You see, what I actually need to reach the end credits is the end portal block, which spawns in the bedrock well after you kill the dragon. So what I did was I set up a server to play on, and then when I went into the end, I typed a command in the server console to spawn in an end portal block so I didn't have to do any input in the actual game itself. With that done and over with, 
we can conclude that yes, it is possible to beat Minecraft without doing any input. Huge thanks to FastSquare46 for developing a ton of scrap use in this video. This challenge wouldn't have been possible without him. Also, my last video blew up, so uh, check out my SoundCloud, where I make chill lo-fi indie hip-hop remixes. And also, donate to my Patreon, so I can keep simping for e-girls on Hypixel and play CTM maps that no one cares about. Also, also, make sure to buy my shirt, which has anime girls making sexual faces on it. Either that, or you can buy my other shirt, which totally won't get you cancelled. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been SpeedyQ64, in case you forgot, and I wish you all a good day. Smash like button.